welcome to NPS Show, episode number 415. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo, and today we have some news. Uh, it's a bit late. Uh, I'll tell you all why later near the end, but let's hop right into it. So, in the first news, them fighting hurts is out officially, and IGN gives them a 8 out of 10. Woo, that's high praise. So, usually I don't really dabble in these kind of things because, hey, it's IGN, a gaming website that reviews stuff and they gave them Hiding Herds an 8 out of 10. Ooh, that's kind of cool, I guess. But when you take a look-see at the history of them Fighting Herds, they started off as a fan project and then evolve into something original. Granted that the original product was really awesome, but Hasbro uh, told them to stop. And for this one, they worked their way up. Uh, it was out in beta. And once a lot of bug fixing, a lot of things that need to be done with the game has been done, it's pretty awesome. I own the game. I, I'll tell you guys, I'm a backer in their Indiegogo. And personally and honestly, I like the game. The game is fun. Like, it's a simple uh, 2D four button fighter. It's akin to uh, Marvel 3, Marvel Infinite, uh, something similar to uh, Dragon Ball Fighters. And all those kind of games, except that them fighting hurt is not a hyper fighter. I'm not going to go into what a hyper fighter is. You guys can go check it out for yourself. But in the end, them fighting hurts is awesome with what they have now. And in the future, we'll get more free story content updates and uh, probably a goat character that has been promised. And check out the review because they go in depth in what's in the game, why they like the game, and what's the pros and cons. So let's move on to the next news. And in the next news is new Dungeons and Dragons QD Mark and Dragon set revealed. So um I I think I just jumped the gun, so I'll gonna do some you know what? No. Let's go right into it. So Ghostbusters and Power Rangers getting crossover pony toys. So um, a listing on the Amazon UK, the goof seems that there's going to be some kind of uh, crossover toys between the Ghostbusters and Power Rangers. Uh, according to the blurb here, My Little Pony cross Ghostbusters crossover fandom collides when My Little Pony meets Ghostbusters for a crossover toy QD marks and ectoplasm crossover collection plasma blah 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 so it's going to be one of those toys where oh what could it be what could it be and then we go to Dungeons and Dragons and yes it is here it is this is how it looks like it is a um, pony figure in uh, akin to the original uh, G1 style but dressed up as um, what you call this D and D characters and so on. Uh, we we get to see here that there's a box. This is it. Uh, we get to see what um. I I think this is similar to the Magic the Gathering crossover they did before. Huh. But anywho, um, there, there's toys figures. That's cool. Uh, you get for this one. I see they have a uh, DM screen board. And you know what? This is kind of okay. This is okay. There's nothing beyond whatever I can see here that says otherwise. Like the figure's okay. It looks good. Um, I'm not hundred percent sure how much this are. Can I see how much? Like, do they tell me a price on this one? Uh, no, 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 no price at all. Let's see. Uh, no, 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 no. So yeah, um, there's no pricing on this, 
But the confirmed crossovers that we're going to have are um, My Little Prime, the Transformers and Power Rangers, sorry, the Transformers and Pony crossover, um, Power Rangers and Pony crossover. So that's going to be cool. I, I do wonder what or how are they going to look like. Because with D&D, okay, they're just hostels dressed up as a bard, a druid, a thief, and so on. With Transformers, how are you going to make that? I'm not 100% sure. And Rangers, you just put them in the Power Rangers outfit. Yay. And that's the news for this week. Uh, I'm recording this a bit slow because of reasons. And... Those reasons are, well, what have I been doing with my week? So, last week was BabsCon Online. And the NBA show participated in it. We were live and we did the season 9 finale. And it was a lot of fun. Uh, We were live in front of a bunch of people and they interacted with us, and that was really, really cool. Other than that, eh, it, it was it was a lot of fun, but it really tuckered me out. I'm, I'm poop tired. Uh, other than that, uh, I, I'm recording this really late, and I really need to upload this as soon as possible. Man, doing this can be um, challenging sometimes. So, uh, wow. I can't believe that this is really going to be a short episode. Wow. But anywho, um, let's wrap it up. So, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dmbshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and Stitch Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, do subscribe and rate us on the iTunes and Stitcher Radio with, uh, for the review and discussion podcast. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Totera, reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, and also specials. Sometimes we like to do other things other than ponies, and those are video games, anime, and movies. I do love to review stuff. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With your support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Matty Knight, Tristan, and also Master of Black. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. And join me next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya.